My journey as a DNP begins in 2013. I was an experienced nurse, a husband, a father, an avid runner, a family man. Then I became a Guillain Beret patient, paralyzed from the waist down. But to be frankly honest, I was lucky to have had the experience. The experience of looking through the very lens of our patient, for I was given a valuable gift of perspective. Fear, sadness, embarrassment, loss of self, guilt, frustration, doubt, and helplessness are but a few emotions that I now share with those I treat. It was here that a seed was planted within the soul of my career and another would take root in my heart. While admitted for several weeks, I would come to know my nurses, aides, and therapists very well. As they entered the room, I could tell within seconds who was having a bad day or a good day, who liked their job or who didn't like their job, who carried their personal baggage into my room and who was actually concerned with my care. After a year of recovery and against the advice of some, I decided to go back to the bedside and leave the relative ease of home care. Within a few days of working in my new role as an oncology nurse, I realized I made that right decision. This would be the place, the time, and the opportunity for me to share my newfound vision. Inspired by so many and touched by the daily whispers from God, I would fully engage in the truth that nursing, true nursing, is about nurse-patient relationships and nothing comes before that. Nothing. My emerging role as a nurse transcended a self-centered desire to help and was reborn with a new focus to facilitate hope, love, peace, joy, health, faith, comfort, grace, and understanding from the very God-given wellspring that resides in every nurse's heart and soul, a wellspring of abundant supply. So why then did I choose to pursue a terminal degree as a doctorate of nursing practice and administration with an educational certificate to boot? Simple, to multiply my vision within the educational institution and boardrooms alike, a vision that is centered around better patient care and improved patient outcomes via proper philosophical nursing education leading to an improved understanding of what true nursing is. An unyielding effort based upon relationships formed through the love of God to gracefully care for every patient regardless of oneself and to deliver hope, health, and understanding that no matter what happens, they will prevail. No matter who we are, where we are from, what we do or have done, what we have or don't have, we are all deserving of grace, love, health, hope, and the opportunity to reach our highest God-given potential on any given day. As nurses, it is our job to shine for our patients regardless of their position. Every patient requires love, and we as nurses are in a position to reflect God's light upon them. We are light, we are love, and we are called to deliver both. As a DNP, I'll be able to lead this charge by incorporating the essentials within my practice and infuse a new methodology based on my vision into nursing education, whether it be through the integration and application of various methods of science, leading, learning, and working in collaboration with others, working within the clinical setting to increase and redefine the heart of the nurse, or taking advantage of health information technology to inform, stay informed, organize and report data and evaluate patient outcomes, all have the necessary tools and skill sets to do so. But it doesn't stop there. As a DNP, I'll also have the opportunity to use an increased credibility to shape and form healthcare policy via analytics or lobbying efforts. Collaboration within a multifaceted system of care is also a skill set that I can employ as a DNP. By using proper communication and, and, and a team approach, I can focus my efforts on improving any given area or system of healthcare that requires attention. Clinical prevention is yet another option to promote health. As a nurse and DNP, I can foster awareness, influence attitudes, identify alternative life choices that will assist the patient in making good decisions regarding their well-being. In 2004, Ann Page wrote, Nurses are the health care providers patients are most likely to encounter, spend the greatest amount of time with, and depend on for their recovery. She goes on to say, How well we are cared for by nurses affects our health and sometimes can be a matter of life or death. Whether it be through therapeutic intervention, relational support, education, physical touch, or prayer, we stand guard for our patients. We as doctors of nursing practice have ascended to a higher level of responsibility to our patients whereby we can have a greater effect on the altruistic side of humanity. We create, improve, facilitate, review, incorporate, teach, 
Bobby, write, learn, and love. Doctor of nursing practice, perhaps. I like to consider it deeper nursing purpose. Thank you.